Hey, we continue with our series on abundance and particularly the biblical evidence that God wants you to live an abundant life. This is a very important thing because there must be evidence. It shouldn't be something that someone is creating by himself. A pastor or a preacher of the gospel is trying to create it by himself. Because you all know that there has been a very serious war against, you know, the people who just, uh, I don't know for what reason, every time they say, oh, those prosperity pastors, those prosperity things, those. And this word prosperity just means success. Who doesn't want success? I want success. If you don't want success, I, I do want it. And I'm not ashamed to say that I want success in my life. I want success in my ministry. I want success in <coughs> the way I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And bring people into the kingdom of God. I want to be a, a successful servant that the Lord sent on planet Earth. When Jesus, you know, gave us the story of people that he gave talents and uh, a man gave talents and he went on a long journey and when he came back, people gave account. The one who succeeded, who, ha who had been given five talents and worked with them and succeeded, prospered in that, received great honor from his master. The master says, I gave you little, you have made it great. You have been faithful in a little. I'll make you Lord over much. And he says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. So it is, it is the success and prosperity and abundance that comes out of faithfulness toward the ways of God. That is what we are looking at. Now today I want us to look at yet another biblical evidence that God wants you to prosper. We look at the book of Psalm 65 and verse 11. This is what it says. You crown the year with your bounty. Your wagon trucks overflow with abundance. You crown the year with your bounty. Your wagon trucks overflow with abundance. I like this. You know, he says that your entire year your entire year is crowned with bounty. Your entire year, every single day of your life is crowned with the abundance of heaven. And his wagons, wagon, wagon trucks, they overflow with abundance. There is a lot that God has set aside for you. And he wants everything that you lay your hand on to be prosperous, to be successful. He wants you to enjoy the abundance. He wants abundance in your life and he crowns you with bounty. It, you, you, you are not just a person who experiences prosperity or abundance, but you, you abound it is not a, a, a abundance that happens today and tomorrow you are in luck. He wants you to have consistent uh, or con consistency in abundance. And as he says, you know, it, it is in his design for you to move from glory to glory. That is the design of God. Let me read that verse again. You crown the year with your bounty. God crowns the year of his children with bounty. From January the 1st to December 31st, God crowns every single day, every single hour, every single minute of the year with his bounty. And then his wagon trucks overflow with abundance. God's desire is for each one of us to overflow in abundance in whatever we lay our hands on. God's desire is so that you may abound. So I just pray the blessing of God upon you this day. And I want you to read that verse again and meditate on it. Look at what God is speaking. He does not want you to have bounty today and tomorrow you are in scarcity. He wants you to abound and the reason why he wants you to abound is so that you may also abound in good works. That is his design. That is his will for you. He's such a great and awesome God. He loves you with an everlasting love. 
Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We give you praise and glory that God, you cause our days to abound, our years to abound, and our wagon trucks overflow with abundance because God, you have blessed us. Thank you, Lord, that everything that I do, every business, every in investment that you have given me prospers and brings in abundance. Anything contrary to that is not your will. Therefore, I stand against every delay in payment. I stand against every lack of business with my business, Lord. I refuse it. I bind it. I break it in Jesus' name. And I release the overflow of abundance in my bosom in Jesus' name. I give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Spiritual nourishment. Click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video.